what can we do? What can we make this uh, a better situation for everyone involved? A multi-layered question related to crime and homelessness in one South Austin neighborhood where you can see a homeless navigation center is right across the street from an elementary school. So concerns spiked when a man broke into a family's home nearby. And tomorrow, city leaders will hold a public meeting to discuss homelessness and public safety. As part of a series covering the imprints of crime in our communities, KXN's Brianna Hollis takes an in-depth look at the social infrastructure of the Western Trails neighborhood. Bree. So this is a story of conflict and compassion. Concerned parents like Joanne worry about how the influx of homeless activity impacts their kids, but at the same time, they admire what the Navigation Center is doing. Jocelyn Elementary School sits on the corner of Menchaca Road and Red Street. I have two students there, um, pre-K and fourth grader. Joanne and, Sisson, um, a mom, worries about what's across the road. Kids just seeing things that kids shouldn't be seeing so young. At any given moment, you'll see crowds of people experiencing homelessness gathered outside the Sunrise Homeless Navigation Center. The center offers mental health and addiction services, as well as day-to-day -day needs like showers, food, coffee, and clothes. While we are very grateful of what they're doing, it is just the proximity. Tensions rose for neighbors in March after this SWAT standoff. Police say a homeowner called police after finding a naked man inside her home. APD confirmed that man was experiencing homelessness. According to the arrest affidavit, the woman who called 911 was, quote, very scared and feared for her life, jumping out of a window to get away. Yeah, as a parent trying to come and pick up your pre-K four kid and your fourth grader, um, it was just very alarming and upsetting. To but you can't tell this story without this one. Thank you for Colorado's everything. let us know how it goes. Homelessness is a whole person trauma. Mark Hilblink runs Sunrise. According to the center's website, last year, staff helped nearly 11,000 clients, served almost 80,000 meals, and answered about 30,000 hotline calls. If you can divert someone within the first 30 days of becoming homeless, they oftentimes don't fall into the same chronic drug use, chronic health issues. They don't fall into a lot of the violence that oftentimes happens to people experiencing homelessness. Just like Sisson recognizes his work, Hildlink recognizes neighbors' concerns. Is there ever kind of a public safety concern with, you know, people being around who may not be in there? Sure, we've, we've worked really hard on that. Um, part of the way that we've worked on that is to try to connect people to other partners. If there are people that are stepping over the line and, be, and doing anything that they're not supposed to, and we have evidence of that, that we make an attempt not to serve them. Sunrise is such an asset and uh, really a difficult element of the community as well. This neighborhood is in Councilmember Ryan Alter's district. There are such two sides to that coin and um, they are doing amazing work. They stayed open through the pandemic when a bunch of service providers didn't. That doesn't stop his office, though, from hearing from constituents concerned about homeless activity in the neighborhood. According to 311 data, calls related to homeless matters in the area are up significantly from last year. In 2023, 311 received 30 calls for transient, squatter, and or drug concerns. That number is already at 47 for the first five months of this year. We need more sunrises around the city so that a neighborhood like the one uh, right there at Western Trails isn't experiencing all uh, of the traffic. Alter says Sunrise is working on another site in North Austin to help with that. But this also all doesn't fall on the center, which fills gaps Alter says the city sometimes can't. What needs to be done better to address the situation? We have a, a system that is designed for a homeless population that's about this large, but unfortunately Austin finds itself here, right? As a community, we just don't have enough resources for the amount of people that we have. The easiest answer to what solves homelessness is homes. No matter who comes up with a solution, Sisson just wants to see one. Begging at this point for some change to happen. And Council Member Alter says the city is currently working on a program to create satellite sites all across Austin that offer at least some of the services Sunrise does. And I do plan to be at tomorrow's Homelessness Town Hall to follow up.